What's going on guys? Gomers here. It is time. A new legend uh, for uh, for the days, for the ages. Roy Halliday is in MLB The Show. We make a lot of jokes about how... It, it, do you really think they're going to drop a X? Uh, Derek Jeter. Oh, he's going to drop in uh, the December event. Uh, they just randomly dropped Roy Halliday here in May. Very cool. We have a whole program for him. A ton of content, ton of stuff. We're going to go all over it, talk about the, the program, how to get it done fast. Leave a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Let's go ahead and get into it. That's not... Uh, it's not fiddle fuck all around, all right? We, we know what we're here for. We're here to see the spring cleanup program, even though it says it's out. There we go. Well, we're here to see Roy Halladay. Now, there's a couple. There's a 95 postseason. There's a 87 All-Star card from 2003, which I believe was, is Cy Young season. If I'm not wrong. And then there's also a rookie card. Obviously, we, wa we want to see the postseason first. Uh, so let's go ahead and take its clothes off and peel behind the curtains and reveal 106 hit per nine, the highest in the game amongst all starting pitchers, even higher than Randy Johnson, which makes sense. 2010 is when he threw the no-no against the Reds. Very shocking that it'd be against such a good offensive team there. Surely their offense has improved so much over the last decade. He has that cutter-sinker combo. The control is great on everything. 84-plus is the lowest on the four-seam. That's a damn good pitch to be your lowest on control. 96-95 on the cutter and sinker. The only concern, if I have any, is the K per nine. Fall balls are still an issue. They did have a patch yesterday. However, it didn't really do anything Shocker. So it could be a foul ball derby with him, especially an all-star, but that 106 hit per nine is going to be great. I'm very excited for Halliday. Uh, this is a card I'm not going to sell. 200,000 XP, definitely um, doable within two weeks. The time span that his program is going to be out. Cole Hamels, he's got 82 hit per nine here. We're going to go through these cards rather quickly. Jackson, I appreciate it. Thank you for the reset, my friend. Uh, behind the little gift box there you can see good control 76 on the lowest uh, but again the hit nine a little bit low overall good pitcher is definitely gonna find some teams Roy Oswalt he's got the um, mind-bendingly slow 73 mile an hour curveball he's got the sinker 83 hit nine and pretty decent control not a bad card there uh, this holiday 66 hit nine yeah, uh, I'm glad we got the 94. There's this Shane Victorino, who has a uh, switch hitter, 76-91 contact, yada yada. You, you kind of get the drill there. Uh, I do think that all of this is going to be setting up for a 99 Roy Halladay for the Blue Jays, if you're disappointed that this card is a featured Philly. Um, Chase, speaking of Phillies, there's more Phillies than one man can even handle. Uh, I'm not sure if this is San Diego Studios or if they've re relocated to the city of brotherly love. Because good lord, they're sure loving themselves some Phillies today. Carlos Delgado, uh, you know, very platoon heavy. I don't see that, you know, funneling on too many teams as well. Appreciate it. Thank you for the sub, my friend. Again, we're live on Twitch. We're going to be talking about all this. Drops are on. You want free packs? Come in the stream. Ryan Howard, kind of a disappointing card. Yada, yada. You kind of get the point. So, gameplay XP, daily moments are going to be there as well. Don't ask me why I played these today. I just lost out on 2K XP. Oh, well. Um, there's moments. There's uh, exchanges. Uh, there should be a conquest map. What? Where's the conquest map? Did they not release one? Oh, oh, we'll talk about it in just a sec. There's a lot to do. Mookie Betts. 103-118 contact. 89 power against lefties. 77 against righties is low. It definitely can be the difference of you hitting a home run and not on a perfect fly ball. Uh, which has happened numerous times to me with guys like Michael, Michael Young and Cattell Marte. But, uh, you know, 75 arms, 73 speed. I kind of like this card better at second base, but he's definitely usable in the outfield. Uh, just he isn't great on either end getting the ball in or range in the outfield. Just pretty decent. Um, but good card. I really like that Mookie Betts right there. Tom Glavin. Him and Roy Halladay, I think, are both probably top five starters in the game. He's got very good control. I mean... It's hard to, you know, accurately throw the ball much better than this guy right here. 92 is his worst. He's 89 hit nine, which is plenty. 
Um, the Caper 9 is pretty decent. He's got that sinker. He was great last year. He's going to be great this year. We have Brandon Crawford, a uh, platoon guy, but holds his own against lefties. 72, 83, respectively. He has no speed, and I mean that, you know, sugarcoatingly so. 35 is not a lot at shortstop, but it's doable. He's 99 fielding, 97 reaction, 92 arm. He only can play shortstop, but you can probably have a gold shield at like second or third base, which might not be a bad thing, but then you kind of lose the point of using a Brandon Crawford card if you don't have the defense. Uh, what the hell? Matt Chapman with good contact. Do my eyes deceive me? Do I need to go ahead and get a new prescription? Okay, I did not foresee that. Well, his power against lefty is a little low. The defense is great. This is a pretty good card, actually, surprisingly. It's like a right-handed uh, Devers, face of the franchise card, if he could actually pick up a ball. Ah, uh, shut up, Gober. Devers isn't that bad defensively. Uh, Al Leiter, sinker cutter. I don't know why I said reliever in the video yesterday. Um, I'm stupid would be my only explanation. 84 hit per nine, not a bad card for a 90 overall. Again, these are going to go for like 8K. Juan Pierre, again, you guys are loving this right here. 99 bunt. Ooh, you're fuming. You're rock hard. Salute yourself from down under. 81 fielding, 65 arm. Again, you'd probably be better off running it in with Juan Pierre. Brad Hand, he's got four pitches, including a sinker. Uh, 104 hit nine. Uh, what's that control looking like? Pretty good. 78 lowest. Uh, everything else, 88 and above. Very good for that Brad Hand card right there. Will Myers. I'm surprised he doesn't have uh, other secondaries, but I, I guess it makes sense. He really only played outfield with the Rays. Uh, great speed, gold defense, 95 contact plus, and decent power. Pretty well-rounded card. Again, this is not going to hit my team. It's probably not going to hit a lot of people's teams, but, you know, it's good. It really does everything. It has every tool available. Ralph Kiner, I'm not going to lie. I'm considering this card. Very good. 92 94 110 121 power it's one of the best offensive cards in the game right now the fielding is rough a 61 reaction 63 arm 62 fielding and 48 speed to top it all off honestly i think at a pinch at franco he could maybe be usable in left field exclusively because it's very short out there. We also have those Rocky jerseys. Uh, a couple other things to talk about. We have tops now. We have a lot of stuff that came at the game today. We have a big update. Um, new tops now cards. We have the brand new uh, Patrick Mazika. Surely we said that right there. Uh, good against righties, bad against lefties. Pretty cool. Uh, he's a catcher, so a platoon guy there. Luis Barrera. For the Oakland A's here, 90 and 99 against righties, 82, 70 against lefties. Left fielder, uh, not great defensively, but has some speed on him as well. These are going to be good bench bats, good opening cards if you guys are just starting the game as well. Gavin Lux, uh, more like Gavin sucks. This card doesn't look particularly good, unfortunately. Um, shortstop, secondary in the outfield, second base primary. Thank you. I appreciate that. Schmieg. Schmeek McGee, 85 speed, you know, just not the best offensive card. It's okay. There's also this uh, Josh Naylor, 90 overall, uh, from his big day, 102, 90 against righties. I thought this card could have been better. You know, why not make it a jock-esque? Like, he's not super good against righties to even warrant him as a great bench bat. He's definitely usable there. But, uh, I don't know, just a little choice right there. There's a brand new event today, two new rewards. Uh, like I said, ton, uh, a smorgasbord of brand new diamonds. We have Aaron Nola, 96 hit 90. He's got four pitches, including a sinker. Uh, his control is not bad. 74, 82 on that circle changeup in the sink piece. Uh, Paul Molitor, I really don't care for this card 125 contact against lefties uh no fielding at all 64 speed it's okay it's another first baseman card a position that is very thin as we're all aware um but you only need 12 wins i believe to get that monitor eight for nola so not bad if you're looking for collection fodder at all right there uh there's bunch coming next week we have another tazaki uh takashi okazaki series i'm shocked i'm gonna i'm gonna end it here a lot of stuff Roy Halliday is in the game come by the stream we're having a lot of fun opening packs we're grinding xp we're getting Halliday and debuting him tonight damn it leave a like if you guys did enjoy let me know what cards are new that you're excited to pick up thank you for watching hope you guys have a great day there comes out yeet